Spokanitizer came to the Spokane community when we needed it most. Dry fly distilling's concoction not only helped protect people on the front lines, but helped restaurants and local businesses keep their spaces clean for customers. Destiny Richards is live with Dry Fly to tell us what they're up to now a year later. That's right. Apart from just Spokanitizer, there was another hot item that dry fly was producing and that was these huckleberry lemonades we're talking to mike lennox the lead distiller tell us a little bit about how these were all the rage last summer uh gosh so we when we came out with a release last summer um we had lines from here basically a couple hundred yards down the down the way towards the centennial trail mm -hmm. socially distance of course um it was it was really fun during a really unfun time to be able to bring people down, bring a new product out to them um, with all of the help that we gave to the community with sanitizer. Um, when we did this release, we had a lot of people coming back down to reciprocate yeah. that help back to us. Really supporting you right yeah. back. And you guys are moving downtown so you can make a lot more of these and much more. Tell us a little bit about that um, up and coming facility. Yeah, large increase in production. We'll be moving down to the old Spokesman Review printing press off the corner of Monroe and Riverside there. So if you're driving, mm -hmm south of Monroe right now you might see our uh, big lit up fly on the side of the wall so we're moving 100 percent of our production and tasting room and everything down there so more options to give you some uh, some some food some cocktails and nice. increased production to keep these uh not so hard to find on the yeah. shelves. All right, awesome. Is that supposed to be this summer, hopefully? We or? should be, um, over the next probably eight to 12 weeks, we'll be moving the tasting room, and then by the end of June, we'll be down there full production. All right, sounds great. Well, you can continue to support Dry Fly when that opens, so stay tuned. I know you guys have a lot on social media, so be sure to follow their social media, and we'll obviously update you here on 4 News Now. Reporting live at Dry Fly, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now.